what is up you guys welcome back to the channel last video of the year man this has been an absolutely game-changing life-changing amazing freaking year man shout out to every single subscriber shout out to every single one of you guys man who had the balls and excuse my language some of you are women but you know what i mean to actually you guys had the guts you guys had the freaking nerve to click subscribe and follow this random ass dude named david i appreciate you guys man i appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine shout out to you guys much love to you guys and i pray and hope for nothing but blessings for you and your family and your business in 2020. i wanted to drop this last video for you guys today man and just kind of give you the top 10 tips to help you crush it in 2020. these are top 10 they're not exactly motivational at all they're just basic tips basic tips some of it has to do with social media marketing some of it has to do with your damn life you know what i mean and getting things in order um and, and so last night I'm thinking, man, I want to put something out that's going to really bring some value to people and, and, and just really be as authentic as I, as I could possibly be with it. And these are top 10 tips, you guys, that I've been living by. These are 10 tips that I've been building my business around. And they're basic, man. Nothing crazy. They're just very, very basic. But I, I encourage you to really, really implement them and take this seriously. This is not just 10 random tips that I made up. These are 10 tips that I've been living by for, for many, many years now. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm, I, I, just I, I, I have passion and I have belief and I just, I just know that these 10 can change some of your lives, your lives and your freaking business. So I wanted to kind of write them down. I have them over here to the side, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type them here uh, for you guys. And I'm going to list them right below. So right below in the description, you're going to see all of them right there as well. But um, again, these are, these, and, and right here behind me, this is where I have a lot of these listed. So, so what I'm going to tell you right here, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, write them down, write them down. In my case, I have them printed and they're right on my board. And, and I know everything that's going on to the exact T, to the exact time which is the, the minute, the second, to the exact dollar amount when it comes to expenses and money. And I'm going to kind of give you all, all of them right here, but I'm telling you, take what I have down here as a blueprint and build yours around it and stick it up somewhere where you know exactly what's going on at all times, okay? And that brings me to number one, to tip number one. This is super, super, super important. Have a detailed, have a detailed schedule by the hour. This right here, you guys, I cannot, I cannot tell you how important this is, man. As an entrepreneur, the day goes by fast. You end up catching yourself working on all kinds of random shit. You think it's being productive, but at the end of the day, you didn't make no money. At the end of the day, you didn't reach out to any new prospects. At the end of the day, you didn't close any new clients. As an entrepreneur, there's so many, especially when you're a solopreneur, there's so many things that need to be, need to be done, and you're the, you're the one that ends up doing them. And before you know it, your day is gone. I was listening to Les, um, Les Brown and, and Miles Monroe. Every night I go to bed listening to something motivational, something positive, something spiritual, um, whether it's affirmations or whether it's some type of meditation. I'll, I'll, I'll go on a YouTube and I'll find something good and I'll put my earphones on and, and I'll just zone out and I'll fall asleep like that. And last night, actually it was early this morning. Yeah, early this morning, early, early, early this morning. Um, I came across a, a video from Les Brown and Miles Monroe, and they were talking about time, how every single one of us, every we're talking out of the seven plus billion people in this world, we all have different experiences. We all, ha we all come from different cultures and ethnicities and backgrounds. We all look different. We have different colors. Some are, bla some are brown, some are black, some of us are white. We're all different when it comes to the outside, right? And, and even a lot of times in the, on the inside, we're all different in, in, in our own respected ways. But the one thing we all have in common, no matter who the heck you are, no matter where you are, the one thing we all have in common is time. And the whole 30 minute video that I was listening to, the audio on YouTube, was talking about how important it is to protect your time. You gotta guard it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your arms around it, and you have to shield it because before you know it, man, the day is gone, and you didn't do anything productive. Tip number one, you guys, is I want you to have a schedule. Back here, you see it right here. It's actually this one right here. 
I know the exact hour I'm waking up to the exact hour I'm eating to the exact hour I'm praying to the exact hour I'm prospecting to the exact hour I'm on appointments to the exact hour when I'm studying, when I'm reading, when I'm picking up my son from school, when I'm dropping him off at school, when we're at, when we're at boxing practice, when we're at football practice, I know the exact hour and the exact day when shit's happening. This right here, you guys, allows you to have structure. It allows you to stay accountable. If it's not on the schedule, I ain't got time for it. And you have to treat your schedule. You have to guard your, your life and your day-to-day schedule, your time. You have to really, really protect it, especially for those of you that are entrepreneurs that, that do not clock in anywhere else. Like You have to hold yourself accountable. I tell my wife all the time, I'm like, dude, just because I'm my own boss does not mean that I can just chill at 11 a.m. I have a schedule. I clock in. I got shit to do. And I know exactly when I'm doing it. So number one, you guys, I'm encouraging you to write down your schedule. And even if you're not a full-time entrepreneur, it doesn't matter. You have a full-time job. You're there from nine to five. Okay, cool. What are you doing from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m.? What are you doing from 9 p.m. to 11? What are you doing from 11 to midnight? You have to have this stuff written down. You're reading. You're working on landing pages. You're investing in courses and learning you know, Facebook ads or Instagram ads or whatever the hell you're doing. You're learning how to become better at sales. You're learning how to become a better father, a better parent, how to, how to become a better wife. You're doing personal development. When and what time, yeah, what and at what time are you doing it? Have it written down. Have it on your wall. Give a copy of that to your spouse and say, hey, man, here is my schedule. Don't bother me. I'm working. It has to be that serious, you guys. And, and I have mine printed up and, 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 and shit, I, I know exactly what I'm doing to the exact T, man. That's why I don't, I don't got time for anything else. If it's not on the schedule, I, I, it, ain't, it, it ain't part of my life, you know? And, and, and I want you to really hold yourself accountable, man. So get it down, write it down. And, and hold yourself to a schedule. Time is the one thing we all have in common and you have to protect it, man. You have to protect it. Number two, let's go to number two. Number two is no, no, damn it. No, my bad, you guys. Know how many cells, know how many cells you need and, and the net income and the net income you make per cell. This is super, super important, okay? Know how many cells you need and the net income you, you make per cell. So when you're out there figuring out your finances, your expenses, shit like that, right? And, and, and whether you're in sales or, 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 yeah, I think we're all in sales, man. Most of you that are following me, you're either an entrepreneur, you're selling your own shit, or you probably work for some company and you're a salesperson, right? I don't think anyone else is following me that's not within that category somehow, some way. And even if you have another, another job and, and you do something completely different and you're not in sales, but you're looking to start some type of business and that's why you're probably following me, right? You're into, entre you're into online entrepreneurship. You're trying to start an agency. You're into affiliate marketing. You're trying to make sales online. It's safe to assume that 100% of you guys fall within that, okay? You have to know how, much, how many sales you need and how much you're making per deal, okay? So for example, in my case, let's say for example, I charge a client $1,000. I have to take into account the expenses after, right? Number one expense, when you're, when you're running your own business and you're taking credit cards and you're charging them for whatever the heck you're selling, whatever you're, whatever you're selling, the number one expense that most people overlook and most people fail to calculate is the credit card processing fee. So if you're taking credit cards, you have a merchant account, right? Stripe is a very popular one for most of us online. There's that 2.9%. 2.9% of a $1,000 transaction is a good chunk of money, right? You have to work your life and your expenses around what you net, right? So if I charge a credit card for $1,000, but my net is nine something, let's say, let's say my net is nine, 980, right? I have to work my finances and work my expenses and calculate my numbers around the 980, not the $1,000, okay? You have to know how many cells you need, and I calculate mine by the week. How many cells do I need this week 
in order to cover my nut, in order to cover my expenses. And I calculate it off of, off of, off of what, what's minus from that thousand. So if I charge a credit card for a thousand dollars and my net income, what hits my actual bank account is 980, but then I still have to go run a Facebook ad and that's $80, let's say for example, right? Now I'm left with 900 and let's say I'm going to go hire someone on Fiverr to go do some, some, some design, some graphic design or some logo design, whatever you guys are doing. You have to calculate that as well. So let's say I put a hundred bucks into that. Now I'm down at $800. So I charged a thousand, but my net after expenses is 800. The 800 is what I want to multiply per week. Okay. How many 800s do I need per week to live my life? to pay my bills, to live my life, to, to do what I got to do. I'm going to calculate everything around 800 and I'm going to calculate how many of those I need per week to cover what I got to cover. Okay. So know these exact numbers over here on my wall. I know those exact numbers. I know the net income and I build everything around that number to really make sure everything is covered. Okay. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is know your services slash products know exactly exactly what the hell you guys offer like don't get someone on the phone and all of a sudden they want logo design and graphic design but you only focus on facebook ads and you're over there telling them yeah i can do that for you no dude don't do everything. Don't be a jack of all trades. Master your one service. Know exactly what the hell you're offering and run with that. Don't try to offer 10 different services to, to, to 10 different clients, clients when you only focus on one type of client and you only have one type of service, right? Don't try to do that. Don't try to be that person. I remember, you know, learning from many different agency owners and how a lot of them would go after anyone and offer anything. You don't want to be that person. Focus on one niche, focus on one type of client and focus on, on, on maybe just a handful of services that you provide. Don't try to say yes to everything. All right. Don't be afraid to turn down business. Okay. When you turn down business, that's good. That's a good thing. When you say, Hey, no man, you know what? I don't specialize in, in graphic design. I actually, you know, mo focus more on, on YouTube ads. Don't be afraid to say that, right? Master your one service, master those one few product lines until you can really get that one profitable until you can really profit and get a bunch of clients on those services, for example, or get a, a bunch of customers on those services or whatever, then you can expand and open up your product line. But in the beginning, focus on one man, focus on your most profitable services and, and focus on one niche. So know your services, products, and niche. That's a key one. That's number three. Okay. When I came into, into, into building my agency in 2016, I came in knowing I wanted to focus on one niche. And to this day, since 2016, it's been that one niche that I've been mastering. Okay. Don't try to take on all these different clients in all these different industries. You don't need to, man. Master your one. And I'm telling you, you can be very, very, very profitable. Number four is know your expenses. Expenses. Exp know your expenses to the, to the exact, to the exact dollar. And when your build. This right here, you guys, is super, super, super important. Okay. Know your exact expenses. Back here on my wall again, man. All the stuff I got right here, you guys, this is stuff I've been living by for a long, long time, man. I have it all printed, all looking pretty on my wall so I can look at that shit every day. That stuff is important, man. It holds me accountable for my schedule to how many cells I need per week to the exact services that I'm offering to the exact niche, to the exact expenses that I have, to the exact dollar, right? Know your expenses to the exact dollar and when you're billed. What I do is I keep my expenses around the 1st and 15th. Those are the two days that I'm billed, okay? And I'm talking about personal expenses and my business expenses, my landing page software, my freaking Amazon Prime account, my light bill, my water bill, my rent, my freaking... Um, groceries, my freaking everything, my, my car insurance, everything is calculated. Everything is written down to the exact dollar. And I know exactly when I'm being billed. Okay. I don't have a, all these random bills that are billed throughout the entire month. What I encourage you to do is try to keep it on the first and 15th. So when I go out there and get it, get it like, for example, a landing page software, 
for those of you that are that are that are that that haven't even got onto Kartra, right? What I did is I started my Kartra on the 14th, on the first, excuse me, on the first, right? I did it on the first because it's a 14 day trial. And so when I'm billed, it'll be on the 15th. Like I strategically work my life. Now you guys don't have to do it that crazy, but I strategically work my expenses, my monthly bills around those two dates. So I'm not billed on the seventh or eighth or ninth or a bunch of random shit. I don't want money being deducted from my account all through the month. I want to make sure that I know exactly on what days all this stuff is coming out. And in my case, I keep it the first and 15th. My Kartra is built on the 15th. My Amazon Prime is built on the 15th. All this expenses first and 15th, man. Know your exact expenses to the exact dollar. I have it all written down right here on my board, man, to the exact dollar. Know that, that monthly expense, right? Personal and business and know when you're billed. Super, super important. Um, and you got you to gotta hold yourself accountable. Number five, big time. This is what I'm, in, I'm encouraging every single person and their mother to start in 2020. Start a YouTube channel. Super, super, super powerful, man. We're now in a social media world, you guys. It's all about content, right? If you guys are building a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're trying to sell some shit, social media is going to be a huge, huge part of that, okay? Huge, huge part of that. Number one is you have to, you have to master paid ads, which we'll get there. You have to master that. But number two, I'm encouraging you just because of my previous experience and what I experienced in the past year and a half with YouTube is now I'm finally monetized, meaning that it was this year in 2019. It was actually the end of 2019 when I got my first YouTube check, and that was in November. Okay, November, I got my first YouTube check. In December, I got another YouTube check, and it increased. In January, when I get my next YouTube check, it's going to be even bigger. That YouTube check is going to continue to increase every single month because I keep putting out these videos. Whatever you're doing, whatever your passion is, whatever your business is, whatever you're knowledgeable in, whatever you're focused on, okay, start doing mini tutorials on YouTube and talking about it, okay? It's not about pitching your product all the time. Start teaching people about your product and do tutorials on it on YouTube because now that we're in this social media world, you're, you're most likely putting it all, on all these platforms. You're most likely posting something on Facebook. You're doing Facebook Lives, right? Or you're posting something on Instagram and you're doing some freaking Instagram stories or you're posting stuff on LinkedIn. I'm telling you right now, man, in 2020, narrow that information in, narrow that energy in and start making YouTube videos on your content. I'm telling you, man, because at the end of 2020, YouTube will start sending you a check and that check will continue to grow every single month as long as you keep putting out your content, which I'm assuming you will because it's your business and you're fired up about it, right? You ain't, you're, you're not closing your business anytime soon, right? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. So if you could take all this knowledge and all this content that you're already putting out and distributing on social media, I'm telling you in 2020, put it on YouTube. Start a YouTube channel, man, because I'm telling you, when you start getting monetized, you got to hit 1,000 subscribers first, right? And then you have to have 4,000 watch hours or whatever. But once you hit that, and I truly believe you can hit that within a year, three videos a week is what you want to start doing. Start a YouTube channel and upload, upload three videos per week. Okay. That's what I want you guys to do, man. That's the minimum. That's the maximum. That's all you need to do. Now in December, I went on a blitz and I put one up every single freaking day, but the magic number is three a week, three a week. And you're good. You can build a huge channel around three videos per week. I highly encourage you to do that, man, because once that monetization starts to take an effect, once it, once it really kicks in that few hundred a month will turn into a few thousand per month. And that is a monthly residual income that can continue to come in for a very long time. And that monthly income will offset your expenses. That monthly income will pay for your advertising costs. That monthly income can pay for rent, could pay for your car payment, could pay for your child support, could pay for your groceries. I'm telling you, man, an extra few hundred a month will change anyone's life. And that's what YouTube can start doing for you. Well, it's absolutely, I can't even talk, man. I'm so freaking fired up about it. My YouTube check is going to continue to grow every single week. And it's just an extra check that I call 
digital real estate because that is residual income as if I owned an apartment building. It's monthly passive income that's going to continue to come in, man. And, and, and that stuff right there, I know for a fact, will help every single one of you guys when it comes to building your business. Talk about your business and do it on YouTube, all right? Number six is become, this is a game, another game changer, become an affiliate. Become an affiliate with the landing page and email autoresponder you use. Okay, so whatever landing page software that you guys are using, okay, whether it's ClickFunnels, whether it's freaking Kartra, you know, I use Kartra for, for my landing page and email autoresponder. You guys need to become an affiliate. You need to start getting fired up. If you're going to become, if you're an online business owner, okay, or even offline, if you're trying to do anything online, you need landing pages, okay? You need landing pages and you need an email autoresponder. You have to understand that so does every other business on the planet, okay? Now, if you can be an affiliate and start referring this software to other business owners, that is another monthly residual income that you can start to build. I dropped a video a couple days ago regarding my Christmas. Go back to that video. Um, in fact, you know what? Stay to the end. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie that to the very end of this one. You'll see that one pop up at the end. That was a video that I dropped on Christmas. I had an extra $900 that came in in the month of December because of my YouTube income and my landing page and email autoresponder income, which is Kartra. So because I'm an affiliate and I refer Kartra to people, to other business owners that are trying to build a business online, you got to understand every single one of them, man, needs a landing page software and an email autoresponder. It's that simple. So because I've been referring that to other business owners, to other online entrepreneurs, I've been able to build an income. Watch that video at the end. I had 600 that came in this month of December from my Kartra, from just becoming an affiliate of Kartra and referring that out to other business owners. And I had, a, a, I had 300, a little over 300, 312 to be exact, I think it was, that came in from YouTube. And I'm just getting started, you guys. That was an extra $900 that came in this month right before Christmas that I was able to use to go out there and spoil my family with some nice gifts. Like, watch that video, man. I was fired up on that one because it's reality. This is the type of income that you guys need to start focusing on in 2020. You have linear, linear income and you have residual income. Linear income is the type of income that you make at your job. So those of, you that, those of you that have a normal job, you're just an employee, you work at a normal job, you clock in, you make money per hour, that is linear income. You have that type of income where you have to physically put in the effort every single time. If you don't physically put in the effort, you don't make money. That's linear income. That's most of our jobs that we have out there in, in corporate America. And then you have residual income. Residual income are royalties. It's what musicians make. It's what real estate investors make. It's what, um, 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 who else makes that kind of income? Um, anyone that's, that's, that, 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 that royalties are paid out to, like an artist. Um, yeah, a musician. Any type of, any type of, of author that, that sells books and, and books are being sold. You wrote the book one time, but every single day someone's buying it. Every single day, someone's buying it. That's the power of residual income. And most people do it in real estate where they go buy a piece of real estate, they rent it out. And after expenses, they have a positive cash flow. I'm telling you, man, that's what you can have with YouTube. And that's what you can have by becoming an affiliate. And I'm not saying being an affiliate with all kinds of random products out there. I'm saying, keep it simple. If you're online and you're trying to capture leads online, you need landing page software and you need an email autoresponder. You, you might as well become an affiliate and start referring it to other people to start building yourself a little income. Those two incomes alone will change your life. It for sure changed mine. And I'm so freaking grateful that those incomes continue to increase every single month. I'm so freaking happy and grateful. You have no idea. And I'm encouraging you guys to do the same. Start becoming an affiliate of the software that you're using. Okay, start promoting it and get fired up. And this is stuff that you could talk about on your YouTube channel because that, that's all I did. That's all I did. Here's number seven. Number seven is create a digital 
course. Now this isn't for exactly everyone, but I'm, but I'm willing to bet that, it, that it's for 99% of you guys that are watching my, my channel here that are subscribed to my channel. In sales, right? The reason why I, I, I hate sales, but I love marketing, okay? Here's the big difference because there's a huge, huge difference. When it comes to sales and traditional sales, it's you that has to make that sell physically. Meaning if you sell cars, you got to go to work every day, bro. You got to physically sell that damn car. If you sell mortgages or you sell real estate, it's you that has to physically go out there and do it, right? That sells. That's hardcore sales, man. If you guys are in the stock market, whatever, you guys stock brokers, whatever, it's you. It's your effort. And if you don't show up to work, you don't make money. That sells. And that's why I don't like sales. I don't want to be in sales because I don't want to have to physically sell every day, right? I like marketing. And in this case, it's digital courses where I'm teaching you, for example, my social media agency. And I started creating my dig digital courses in 20. 20, 2018, end of 2018 into 2019, um, I started my digital courses because I started looking at it and I'm like, dude, I'm building a social media agency. I'm physically doing the work for them, right? Running Facebook ads, doing social media management. I'm physically, they're hiring me to physically go out there and do it myself, myself, right? But then at the end of the, at the, end of the day, and it took like a, like a few months in where I'm like, dude, how can I duplicate myself? I can obviously go hire an employee and have them become the sales rep and have them go close deals, but I don't want to do that. How can I duplicate myself? How can I teach more people and not have to physically spend the time, right? And that's when digital courses just became freaking the most absolutely insane thing that I've ever done, where I started taking my knowledge exactly what I was doing for the client, running a Facebook ad, doing social media management. And I started recording videos and packaging it all up into a course. And I started selling that course and started teaching people how to do it themselves. So this might not be for everyone, but a lot of you that are in sales, a lot of you that are, that are trying to build an agency, a lot of you that are affiliate marketers, or you're out there on Shopify trying to drop, drop ship, or you're on Amazon trying to sell products. You have knowledge, you have a skill, and people want to learn the same thing. But how do you teach them? You're not going to physically go out there and, and speak to, like, this is one thing that I started noticing as well. And this is what led me to digital courses because a lot of people were taking up my time. It's like I can only present to so many people a day. I can only talk to so many people a day. And that's the downfall about sales. It's like even if you're on the phone, whether you're physically out there door to door and you're closing people physically face to face, how many people can you possibly speak to? That's why I used to sell memberships at the gym. How many people can I possibly speak to in a day? Not that many. Like it, it's physically, you know, time consuming. And that, that's the majority of sales out there. So again, number seven isn't for everyone. But if you have, if, if you're in that position where, where you can replace yourself and you can replace yourself by simply putting together a video and teaching people how to do it themselves. If you guys are, 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 are um, selling stuff on Amazon, how amazing would it be to put together 10 videos teaching people how to sell on Amazon? If you're drop shipping on Shopify and you're selling sweaters on, on, and hoodies on Shopify, how amazing would it be to put together 10 videos teaching people how to also sell on Shopify? I'm telling you, man, what you have as far as knowledge, your skill, your passion, what you know, that information you have in your head, whatever you're trying to do to build a business, teach people how to do the same thing. Teach them and teach them by packaging a handful of videos, creating a digital course and selling it because what you're interested in, other people are interested in it as well. And, and another thing what led me to digital courses is when my social media clients didn't have enough to hire me monthly, 2000 a month, 2500 a month. When they didn't have that monthly retaining expense to pay for me every month, that's what also led me to creating digital courses. I said, okay, if you don't got the monthly budget to cover me every month, let me just teach you how to do it yourself. And that's when I put together my course and it all started with my agency. And then, and then, and that, and that was my, the social real estate agent. That's, that's my, my, my first membership course. 
And then my second course that I'm going to be releasing in 2020 is Digital Agency Blueprint, teaching people how I did it, teaching people how I built my agency, right? Because that's experience and knowledge that I have. So I'm going to package up everything. I'm going to be literally teaching you exactly how I built my agency. And that's digitalagencyblueprint.com. That's another course that I'm putting together to go teach people how I did it. That is a digital course because with a digital course, you guys, you can scale it to the moon. You could, you could be selling courses online every single minute of the day and income can be coming in while you're leveraging paid advertising and digital information. There's absolutely nothing like it, man. You can only physically talk to so many people. You have to figure out a way to replace yourself and leverage yourself, and that can happen through a digital course. So number seven is super, super powerful. If you're in the position, create a digital course. And again, I use Kartra for all of that. You can go to digital course, Profits. In fact, the link is in the description. Digital Course Profits, P R O P H E T S, Digital Course Profits dot com, and I will show you exactly what Kartra is and what it can do to help you build a membership course. Super, super powerful. Number eight, lock down all your social media links and domain. Super, super, super powerful, and everyone misses this basic step, okay? As we come into 2020, branding and social media branding and personal branding is everything. 99% of you guys out there have only an Instagram account, and you're only leveraging that one, and you have a brand name, whether it's your first name, whether it's your company name, whatever, but you don't have that name locked on Twitter. You don't have that name locked on Pinterest, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. I'm talking about your Facebook business page. And you don't even have that .com locked, right? The domain. I'm telling you right now, man, is whatever name you're, you're running with. It could be your personal name. It could be your company name, whatever. You want to lock down Facebook, the business page, LinkedIn, Pinterest. In fact, let me just... Let me just... Um, Let's go, let's go, let's go FB business page, Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and the domain. I need you guys to take whatever name you're branding and go create every single social media link that I listed right there. Those are the top five. Even if you're not into Pinterest like me, I don't know one damn thing about Pinterest. I don't know one damn thing about Twitter, but guess what? My name is locked. I got that, that handle. I got that username. So coming into 2020, branding, personal branding, social media branding is everything. Do not have a different name for Twitter, a different name for LinkedIn, a different name for Instagram, a different name on your Facebook business page, and you don't even have a domain match everything. I need you to match everything. It's time to start looking the part, look professional, look like your shit is on point. And it starts there. That basic 99% of you guys don't have those, those links listed. You don't have, not that they're not listed, but you don't have them matching. That's what I want you to do. I want you to lock down all your social media links and your domain. Okay. And these are the links. One, two, three, four, five. Those are the top five social media platforms and then lock down the domain. Okay. Um, and again, even if you're not on these other platforms, it doesn't matter. Neither am I. I'm focused on YouTube, but I got my name locked on all those other ones. All right. That's where billions of people are at. Your name needs to be, needs to be unlocked. Okay. Number nine, number nine, and then number 10, and we'll end it here. Number nine is master your skill. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm referring to, I'm referring to paid traffic. If you guys are freaking trying to build something online, okay, you're trying to build something online, whether it's online or whether it's on social media, it does not matter. Paid traffic, which is Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and YouTube ads. Now, you don't have to master all three at one time, okay? But you need, to, you need to start with one. Those are the top three. You need to master 
your skill, okay? Because whatever your business is, and, and, and again, it just depends on, 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 your, on your strategy. I have some clients that, that are so focused on their business where they rather delegate this part to someone else. They rather hire someone for that part, okay? Some of you guys don't have that monthly budget to hire anyone for that, so you have to master that part. Aside of mastering your business, whatever you're selling, it doesn't matter. Doctor, chiropractor, restaurant, it does not matter. You have a full-time business and, and that's your business or you have a part-time business and you're trying to do something part-time on Shopify, it does not matter. Your skill is not freaking listing the hoodie on Shopify. That's not the skill. The skill is going to be paid traffic. You have to come into 2020 learning paid traffic. And those are the top three platforms that, that you want to learn, okay? And if you're new to, to any of those, especially Facebook ads, there's a link in the description, fbadsforbeginners.com. Allow me to teach you the basics and really get you off to a fast start when it comes to, to Facebook ads and Instagram ads, all right? 2020 is when I'll be mastering YouTube ads and I'm fired up, man. I'm fired up about these paid traffic sources because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, man. It's not about being a social media butterfly and posting 50 million times a day on, on all these damn platforms. At the end of it all, it's paid traffic. Run an ad to your offer and make a sell. There's nothing else to it, man. So, so you have to master your skill and, and pick your skill. And, and again, back here on my, on my calendar, on my schedule, I know exactly what day, what hours I'm studying my skill right? Because I invest in courses. I got different courses for Facebook ads. I got different courses for Instagram ads and YouTube ads. These are courses that I'm investing in, right? People that I'm learning from, right? The, 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 the time to, to study these courses must be written down. I need to know exactly what day and exactly what hours I'm studying. I am mastering my skill. That is a skill that I have to master, okay? And that's super important. And that's number nine, master your skill. And then the last one, you guys, number 10, is stop spending money on bullshit. Stop spending money on bullshit. Cut your expenses, man. Cut your freaking expenses. Stop eating out. Stop going to Starbucks every day and dropping 10 bucks. Stop freaking buying alcohol. Stop drinking, man. Stop drinking. Like if you're trying to build, a, if you're trying to build anything in 2020, if you're trying to become an online entrepreneur, unless you're in the alcohol space and you're out there trying to develop the next freaking cognac, then whatever. But if you're not anywhere in that space, in that industry, stay away from alcohol. Now I can't. Now I'm not your father, and I can't tell you what to do. But I'm telling you from experience, man. I'm telling you from experience. You don't need to be drinking. The amount of money that goes into buying shit at the bar every weekend, the 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 freaking um 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 um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The freaking the 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 consequences and the freaking the liabilities and and the, the freaking the um the um the shit we put ourselves in when we're actually intoxicated. There's dude, I'm telling you, man. I've been drinking since I was 15 years old. Like, it's no joke. Like, I drunk enough for my son. I drunk enough for my daughter. I drunk enough for my wife. I drunk enough, enough for the rest of my life. Like, I don't need a drink anymore. Because it was in those times, yeah, at the time, it's fun. You have some drinks with your, with your friends. I get it. It's fun. But the after effect, after you look at your bank account the next day, you're like, holy shit, I dropped 200 at the bar. And I dropped another 50 at the taco shop. Like, what the hell? I'm telling you, man. You need to guard your expenses. You need to, to guard your income if you're trying to be an entrepreneur in 2020 because the same 20 bucks that you would have dropped on some alcohol, you could have spent that on some business cards. You could have spent that on a Facebook ad. You could have spent that on some designs on Fiverr. Like you could have, you could have done so much more. You could have spent that on some books. Like, like, like I'm going to keep it real, you guys. I'm dropping these crazy random expenses to go spend that money on books in 2020. That's why a few days ago, I dropped a video on how to start up an, an Amazon affiliate account because I'm going to start reading more books than I've ever read in my life in 2020. And I'm going to stop spending money on bullshit and I'm going to start investing more into my business. The same amount of money I would have spent on a 12 pack is money I'm going to spend on some books or, or on some ads, right? Because we're going into a new decade, man. It's no time. It's there ain't no time to play. I ain't got the time on my schedule, and I ain't got the money to spend on no random shit. 
whether that's fast food, Starbucks, alcohol, like I ain't with it no more, man. And I'm telling you from experience, from experience, you guys, cut the bullshit, cut the random expenses. You don't need to be spending money on, on freaking going out and, and all that shit. Now, can you have fun? Yes, man, go out and have fun, but limit it, man, limit it. If you're trying to build a business, because on social media, we're now in a, the attempt, like most people have such a short attention span. If you're going to go all in, you got to go all in, man. And, and, and there's been many times where I was hung over the next day where I didn't have the energy to go work. I didn't have the energy to go build my business. Like I'm telling you, man, from experience, it's alcohol that will kill you. And, and you don't want to go down that path, man. You just don't. So I, I, I can only encourage you guys to stop spending money on bullshit, man. And what I call bullshit is alcohol, Starbucks, and random expenses like that, fast food when you don't need to be eating fast food. I, it blows my mind. I was at McDonald's a, a few days ago just getting some coffee, and I'm looking at the menu. I'm like, what? I'm like, 10 bucks nowadays for a freaking Happy Meal? Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's so expensive, man. I don't know how families afford fast food restaurants like it's so freaking expensive like it's no joke and 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 then at, at, at the end of the month you can you know why you don't have no money you know why you couldn't run no facebook ads you know why your 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 business cards they, they still haven't been ordered yet because you ain't got the money i'm telling you man once you can really st start holding yourself accountable and start really pinching every single penny you got because at the end of it all you got a dream you have a freaking a goal. You have a reason why to want to build something. I'm telling you, man, these top tens are going to help you with that, you guys. And I'm talking from experience. I'm bringing you guys everything I got, man, to end this decade. We're now going into the new, the next decade of the twenties, right? And I'm telling you, man, you got to step up your game, step up your game, get your shit in order. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, your time will come. All right, you guys. So I appreciate you guys more than you could possibly imagine. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, man. Hit the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. In 2020, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but I'm taking it up a few more notches. Building my social media agency, building my digital courses, affiliate marketing, building a YouTube channel. I'm coming to freaking take 2020 by the free freaking balls. And I want every single one of you guys to come with me. All right. To the top where we, where we, where we all belong. And I'll see you guys in the next year. Happy new year's you guys. Peace.